This knowledge clip explains how to set up the theoretical framework of your paper. In the introduction, you have explained what your study is about and why it is relevant to study the relationship between your variables. In the theoretical framework, you elaborate on this relationship. If you think about the hourglass that represents the structure of a paper, you are now moving into the narrowest part. This means that you focus on your two variables and how they are related. No detour, no additional information. Just like the introduction, the theoretical framework has four blocks. In our example, each block is a paragraph. The theoretical framework starts with providing a definition of your variables. In research, multiple definitions may exist of each variable and they may slightly differ from each other, so now is the time to present the definition you are using. Do not forget to properly cite the original author of this definition. Feel free to present multiple definitions, but if you do so, explain which one you will use and why. Next, you elaborate on the expected relationship between your variables. In the introduction, you have already introduced the theory that explains the relationship between your independent and dependent variable. Now, you shortly explain the theory. Then, apply the theory to your variables. How does this theory explain the relationship between your variables? Do you assume a positive or a negative relationship based on this theory? In the next block, you support the expectations regarding the relationship between your variables with previous empirical research. Elaborate shortly on each article by saying something about the kind of research and the population. Focus on what the study found relating to the variables that you are studying. Write about three or four sentences for each article. Do not present findings that are unrelated to your study. Here you see an example of what this could look like. Now it is time to wrap up the theoretical framework and present your hypothesis. To do so, refer to the theory and the empirical articles again and work towards your hypothesis. For example, you can say, based on the equity theory and article 1, 2 and 3, this study expects a negative relationship between workload and job satisfaction. Thus, we expect that an increase in workload will lead to a decrease in job satisfaction. Do not forget to include proper citations. Then, present your hypothesis. There are different ways to do so, so please check the requirements for the specific course. An example of a hypothesis is Employees with more workload experience less job satisfaction compared to employees with less workload. Finally, present your conceptual model. Please be aware that there are APA rules for the layout of a figure in a scientific paper. Here you see the conceptual model that belongs to the previous hypothesis. Now your theoretical framework is ready and you can move on to the methods section of your paper.